Hey everyone, today we're having a look at how to build this structures project kit which focuses on arch bridges. Now it's important to remember that this kit is actually creating two separate models. So let's get it open and, and talk about each one of them. Okay, so this is what we've got in the kit and we can immediately separate it into the two projects. So you can take your bag of sand and your bag of cement and you can put that aside for now. You can take your skewers and you can put that aside. Um, you can take one of these 20 by 10 centimeter cardboard bases and your curious gum, you can put that together. These white sticks, these are paper sticks that um, they're basically lollipop sticks and you're going to take these coffee stirrers. You also need your overview page. If you flip this over you'll see that you've got a template at the back and this is what we're going to be using to guide us as we build our Da Vinci Arch Bridge model. So the Da Vinci Arch Bridge model is really cool. It's a structure, a bridge that Leonardo da Vinci designed himself and it's a frame structure because it's made up of individual um, beams and it supports a load. So the frame structure is in the form of an arch, so it's an arch bridge but it's not made out of stones or, or cement or whatever which, which we will be doing when we go into our concrete arch bridge model later. So this kit is really actually very simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your template, you're going to take the coffee stirrers and you're going to cut them to the sizes that you've got here. You can see the template is pretty much one to one. So you can mark it and cut them to those lengths over there. And then you make these four or three different sizes, but there's two of those ones, two of those ones, and one of those ones. And it's basically just an H shaped uh, yeah, construction. That looks like that. So you're gonna take a small blob of your curious gum. You can just open this up, pull off. This is basically just industrial press stick. And you're going to make that. So you can see that is one of the middle pieces. It says we need two of those. So I've made two of those. So one, two. Got one of these, that's the large one. One and two. And the smallest one, over here, you can see curious gum sticking out the side, and that just sits over there. Right, so you're gonna make those five different H pieces. You can grab your baseboard if you want to build it onto this specifically, and we can start assembling this bridge. So you're gonna start with one of the largest H sections and one of the medium H sections, and you're gonna place them with the uh, a coffee stir is sticking up. You're gonna lift it up like that, push them together, slot them over, and sit it down so that the sticks sit on top of the vertical sections over here. The next we're going to do is we're gonna take the small one, flip it over, same, same principle, flip it over, slot it in, and you can see that it's starting to create an arch from the side. We're gonna take the medium one, Lift the end, slot it through, and we've got one more to go. Our last large one on the other end, we're going to lift it up, slot it in, and there our bridge is complete. So if you press down on the top here, you can see now all of the pieces are locking together. I'm going to press down to hold it in place and turn it on its side so you can see there each element is locking and pressing down onto the horizontal uh, coffee sticks, coffee stirrer sticks. So when a force gets applied to the top of the bridge, it forces this frame structure to lock together tighter, which is really, really cool. And Leonardo da Vinci designed this for the military of the time to be able to quickly build bridges and cross rivers by cutting down trees and then using those and making these sections building a bridge quickly, getting over it, and then moving on. So that's really cool. You have built a design when you've done this that Leonardo da Vinci himself came up with about 400 years ago. Right, 
So that is your DaVinci Arch Bridge. Very, very quick, simple project for you to explore a frame structure arch bridge model. So the concrete arch bridge part of this project kit is a little bit more in depth than the um, da Vinci arch bridge model. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making a mold where you use the mold to cast concrete into the arch bridge um, block shapes, right? So I'm going to show you what it does, what, what we build with this kit, and then we're going to go into how to build it. Um, so you're going to be building a, a bunch of sections of arch parts and you can see as you put them together it starts to create that arch. Okay, so if I put it on its side, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, and six. So there's seven sections here and you can see as we build it together, um, or put them together, we get this arch forming. Right, so the mold that we're going to build is going to cast these in the shape that we need to create an arch with all of these lines pointing towards the center and this top part is what we call the keystone because this is the final part that would be placed in to lock this whole arch together and allow it to um, take load and to spread that load across the arch's um, shape. But we've got a consideration to make here is that when the forces are being pressed down on the top here because this is the top. The bottoms are going to be wanting to push away from each other. So an arch is only as strong as its support structure that's holding it in place. Because if these are not locked in place, they're going to fall out and the whole thing is going to collapse. So what we've done with the base is just to illustrate that principle, we've put these two little strips of cardboard to hold, hold the, the arch from falling apart. And I'm going to see if I can put this up in one go. What we've got is our arch bridge, well arch, it's not really a bridge yet because it's just the arch part and the cardboard sections over here are really just acting to stop it from kicking out because if I slide this so that it's not touching the arch, uh, the, the little stop pieces and I put some force on it, we can watch what happens. Okay, so there our arch has collapsed because it wasn't being supported at the bottom there. So for this part of the project, you're going to need all the other bits that you didn't use in the first DaVinci Arch Bridge model uh, components. So you'll find that you have a 20 by 10 centimeter cardboard base. You've got what's left of your um, curious gum. You've got a bag of cement, a bag of sand, and a plastic bag. We use this for mixing the cement in. And we've got all of these components over here. So. There you'll find you've got a mold uh, section and two separate uh, support pieces. That's what we use on the base. So we can put those aside and you can see we've got more cross slots. We've got one starting point section. We've got a long cut slotted cutout section and a short slotted cutout section. So. This is what we're going to use to create the mold. So we're going to start by taking this section over here, taking the outside profile and putting it so that the corrugations point outwards. I'm going to slot it together. Right, so that slotted together, swing it around, slot it in on the other side so that the smooth part of this is pointing inwards. Right, the next part that we're going to do is we're going to take this section. This now needs to be pointing the smooth part outwards. And we're going to slot that into that hole on, or the slot on the end. So we're going to slot that in. We're going to do the same on the other side that we did over here. All right, so now you can see the start of our mold forming, but it's not very supported. And that's what we're going to use these to do. And so now you're going to flip your model over so that you've got the slots over here pointing up 
You're going to take these guys and you're going to start slotting them in as we go all the way around and Right, so once you've got all the components in, you can see that you have quite a, quite a firm structure um, for your mold, but you'll find that some of it might not be perfectly straight, or at least following that, that perfect arc. And that's where we're going to use our curious gum and our base to secure this mold down onto the base over here. So if you have a look there, that's exactly the right size that it needs to be to hold it in place. And we're going to use the curious gum and we're going to stick it in a long thin strip. So we're going to pull off sections like this and we're going to stick it all the way around the base and then we're going to flip it over and then use that to stick it firmly down onto the base of well, the, the cardboard base. And then we're going to cast our concrete into this mold um, that we've, we've made. So let's get started. Right, so you can see that now I've done a full strip going all the way around. It doesn't have to be very thick. It doesn't have to be, um, you don't have to use a huge amount of the stuff, but try and use enough to, to keep a continuous strip going all the way around. I've done the outside profile now, so now I'm going to do the inside strip. Okay. We have our curious gum going all the way around the top and all the way on the inside. Now we're going to put some pieces going across just to stop the cement from um, running through all the way along the cross pieces and then we're ready to stick it down. Okay, so we have our mold ready to stick down. And really what we want to do is you can see it's sitting a little bit flat on this side. I want to now when I cast it, when I stick it down, pull it out a little bit so you can complete that curve. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to start from the one side, line it up along the bottom and stick it down carefully. Right, so now you have your mold in place. You have everything stuck down nicely and we can get into mixing cement with sand and making concrete. So remember we're not filling this with just cement. Cement is like the glue that we're using to bond the sand together to make the hole. Right, so there's our arch. Let's get into mixing some cement. So for this section of the project, you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need the plastic packet that we've provided you guys with. You're going to need your Ziploc bag full of cement. Cement, just as a word of caution, can dry out your hands and can get into your lungs. It's very, very fine. So um, try not to breathe the dust in and try not to get the cement on your hands when you're working with it uh, because it will suck the oils out of your fingers. It's not highly toxic or anything, but uh, it'll dry your hands out if you play with it. And then you've got a bag of sand. Now this is what we call a plaster sand. So it's, it's just normal building sand that uh, we use for mixing cement. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna have. You're gonna need a bit of water. You don't need too much water. Uh, this is more than enough. This is just what I'm drinking at the moment. So it was convenient. Right, so let's get started. Open up your packet and you're going to take the sand, open up the bag of sand and transfer it into the packet. Right, so we've got our sand in the bag, we're going to take our cement and going to do exactly the same and we're going to now hold it up and Mix it together. Go, you can see it's becoming much more uniform in color now. Oop, just blew some out. 
But you can see there, it almost has gone like a, a nice solid grey colour. You will notice that you've got quite a lot of cement and, and or a lot of concrete in this bag and it's more than what you need to fill the mould. So just be aware that you will have more than you need um, and if you're feeling uncertain about how much that's going to be or if you don't want to mess the entire thing up, take the sand bag that you've got, the, the empty sand bag, and empty some of the cement mixture into that so that you can start by mixing a small amount and then if you add too much water you can add more cement and sand. So I've emptied about that much into the sandbag and I've still got the majority of it in here. So it's maybe like this is two thirds and that's a third. So we want to start mixing this now and this is going to be something that's potentially fairly messy. So try and work somewhere where if you make a mess you can clean it up easily. Um, it's not going to stain things and you know cause cause permanent damage but uh, work neatly as you go. Right so I'm going to take this now and fold it open a little bit like that so we can see it a bit better. And you're going to start adding water but you're going to add a little bit of water at a time because you don't know how much you need to get a nice even mix. So if you have a look there, you've mixed it in, you start mixing it around and you can see that this hasn't wet everything because I've got a whole bunch at the bottom there that's not, um, not mixed in but it's quite sort of sloppy at the top here. You can see it goes a much darker brown color and we want to use as little water as possible so that the mix strength will be very high, but we also need to give it enough water to start the reaction. So it's kind of like you want to use enough, but you don't want to use too much. So what I've got here is enough to get going with the first sections of mold that I need to fill. Let me get my water out of the way. And what you can do is you can actually pipe this out by cutting the corner over here and then just squeezing it out. But if I do that, then I can't mix any more of this. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just squeeze it out of the top of the bag over here and then just pat it into the mold as we go. So you can see I've got a bit of cement or at least concrete mix coming out. And I'm going to bring it out to the top, again trying not to touch it myself with my skin and getting it into that mold over there. Now if you mess a bit down the side, that's okay. What the, the purpose of this is, is to really get the mold to fill completely, okay? So when you've dropped some in, you're gonna take one of your ice cream sticks or at least coffee stirrers and you're going to pat it in and push it all the way down into that mold. And you can see now it's compacted down. You really want to make sure that that mold is full. So I'm going to need to add some more here. And you're going to just continue going all the way through and filling all your mold cavities. So use, use your cement or your cement and your sand. I think you probably need to use most of it. There might be a little bit left. Um, and keep going and fill your molds. Right, so you can see that I had to use the rest of my cement and sand, there's a fair bit left in the packet, but I didn't mix enough at the start. But that's easy to just mix up a little bit more in the packet. And when you get towards the end and you've made sure your mold is all full, you can really smooth it over and get it looking, looking nice. Uh, you can tap it down a little bit to make sure that the mold is full. You can see that it might start settling a little bit at the bottom and you're going to just top that up a little bit. If you find that 
it's getting very wet along the top of the um, the mold that you've you've done. It means that the, the moisture, the liquid, starting to um, sort of rise to the surface, and that's not actually a problem as long as it's not too runny that it's destroying your mold. Um, if it really is, there's a lot of water sitting on the top of your um, of your mold, you can get some tissue paper and just try and suck it up a little bit so that it doesn't make the the mold too wet. So you can you can pull it, you can pull some of that water out, and this tissue paper doesn't suck off the cement as well. So I'm just finishing filling up the mold nicely. Okay. So when you're done with this point, um, first prize is if you find a plastic bag that you can put this into so that it stops the water from evaporating very quickly. Leave it for at least 24 hours now so that it can get nice and strong and um, it doesn't dry out too quickly and lose its strength. And then we will unmold it in a few days and we will be able to see whether our mold has made a suitable strength arch bridge. I hope you guys had fun in this process. Um, in the next scene I'll just show you the final product again and then from there we are going to do some questions and some, some research project stuff around this um, in, in the, the upcoming lessons. So I hope you had fun. Cheers guys.